Hello guys, so today I want to talk about uh, how to set up your calendar for um, investing in um, tax deeds for the year because as we all know, uh, I'm quite sure I'm talking to the majority of adults, um, our lives get busy, um, life happens, uh, we have vacations, anniversaries, you know, um, family reunions. So um, one of the things that I thought I would share, which I think is very helpful, is to plan out your calendar year of what you are going to invest. Um, as some of you guys know, I started in Texas, and as I started meeting uh, different people all around the United States, uh, I expanded my investment uh, pool to other states. And so um, today, what I want to do is show you how I set up my tax deed investing calendar. And so I'm going to use two resources. I want you guys to bear with me because <laughs> I'm using um, a video sharing platform. And so normally if I'm on a screen, I stay on there. So I'm, I want to give you two resources. So bear with me. This is the first one. As, as you guys know, this is Bid for Assets. And um, as you guys can see, it has the auction calendar for 2022. And so every year what I do, um, and this is for mostly like California and Washington, uh, because Texas, as some of you guys already know, they happen every Tuesday. Um, a lot of places in Georgia, it's the same. It's either uh, first Tuesday or Wednesday. So those happen more often than other states. Unfortunately, like California is like once a year. Um, Washington seems to have theirs. Um, if they don't sell everything, they have theirs like twice a year. Uh, Nevada is also once a year. So it just really depends on what state you're in, um, what you're wanting to invest, and where you're wanting to invest. But I start with California because that's where I'm from. And I'll look at all the counties that I want to invest and uh, that's how I'm able to manage my, what I call my tax deed investing calendar. So as you can see, there's no, there's only one place in January for the auction. And then um, you have February. So uh, I definitely want to do Yuba City. So I would put that on my calendar. And um, just for this site only, I'm only talking about this site, is that, you know, it says February 26th to March 1st. And I don't want to, like, go into this website to kind of show you, even though they might say that the auction starts on February 26th, you definitely want to get the details to make sure you um, get in your wire before the actual auction date. Um, so I would definitely be investing in Yuba City. Uh, Fresno County. So I basically go through each month to um, see what I will be investing in. But I also want to take you over. Let's see if it, please, please. Oh, yes, it does. Great. So, oh my God. Okay. So I told you guys to bear with me. Um, it did I hope it's I hope it's recording. So this is another website. Um, what I just showed you was a free website. But this website, however, which is Tax Cell Resources, this is a paid site. Um, and um, they also have a channel. Guys, check it out. Um, they have a lot of good resources on there. But um, this is another place um, that I like because uh, I don't talk about it often because I try to give my students and you know, the people out there, because when you're investing, I believe in everybody trying to save all their coins to invest. <laughs> so I try to find the most uh, cheapest and simplest uh, resources um, that you don't have to pay pretty much. But this is a paid resource. Um, I don't talk about it a lot, but I will be uh, integrating uh, tax sale resources um, into some of my videos so that you guys can see a paid resource and it kind of like cuts down the time. Um, so I, what I do like about them is, you know, it's kind of like a one-stop shop for all the states. So you don't have to, you know, go to each state or, you know, go to each county to try to find a tax detail. But I was just going to go down here 
and um, show you how, once again, uh, you can plan out your whole year on where you're going to invest. So as you guys can see right here, it has all the states, um, all the 50 United States. And um, one of the things I really like about this is that if you guys um, wanting to invest in tax liens, it tells you the uh, re uh, percentage of the return on the lien. Um, but as you guys know, this is not a tax lien channel. I only deal with tax deeds. So for example, um, they have Alaska, it varies. So of course I wouldn't put that in my calendar, right? Um, but Arkansas is from May to December. And so you could easily click on that and go there and see what date, or you could just put it on your calendar like a month before and say, in April, I'm gonna check with Arkansas to see um, when their sale is because they say May through December. Uh, then we're gonna go down to California and it's basically telling you the monthly majority is May to June, but I just kind of showed you guys that they actually start having them in February. I'm gonna just click back over here. Hopefully it acts right. So yes, yeah, you guys can see in California, the first auction is um, in February. Actually, um, the first one's February 11th. I don't even know. I've lived in California half my life. I don't even know where Imperial County is. Interesting. So I, I pretty much, this website, Bid for Assets, is really strictly California and Washington based. But this one, of course, like I said, it's a paid resource. It kind of breaks down all the states and it also tells you like which states are lean states and which ones are tax deed states. And so um, this is just a little insight on you know, if you decide that you want to start investing in tax deeds, this is a good way to kind of get on this site and see, you know, what is in your state. And then from there, um, go specifically in the surrounding counties. Like, um, I, don't, I don't even know what's in Idaho, but like theirs is in May. Let me look at some of these states. You know what? I think I might, I, I don't know. I might start looking in Louisiana because somebody was telling me that I should start buying some stuff in Louisiana. But see, they're a tax lien and a tax deed state. So they're what I call a hybrid state. And so, um, yeah, this is just a kind of like a little calendar. Um, and for those that, you know, have come across this channel by happenstance and you're a tax lien investor, it's also a good resource because it tells you the um, percentage for tax liens. So anyway, this is just a little insight on how you can start your uh, tax deed investing calendar and um, go through it. Oh, you know, I so I did buy in Ohio. Look at this. They actually have a monthly, but they're once again a hybrid state. So I have to look into that as well. So anyway, yeah, so I'm I'm actually I'm going through this as I'm talking to you guys because normally for me I already know what states that are my you know favorite states, um, but I oftentimes when I'm dealing with people on one on one or dealing with my clients, uh, it makes me go into other states because I'm you know helping them you know hand by hand. So it's always it's really important to like know where you want to invest you know a lot of times i have so many people that be like well where should i start and i always tell people start in your own st city or state if you are a tax deed state so I, as i'm going through this i'm just like wow i was like i gotta look into this like i, I was i'm just like shocked about certain states that I hadn't even considered that I know people in. That's another thing, you guys. You guys can actually, if you know people, I mean, I don't know about you, but I know that you know somebody in another state, if you told them about a good stinking deal, that they probably even put the money up or even go and do a drive-by for you. So another thing, speaking about drive-bys, <clears throat> this uh, particular website once again it is a paid website you guys but you literally could click on whatever state you want um granted it's a tax deed state and when you click on it and if you have a paid site if you have a paid prescription uh it basically uh it will it it has somebody that will actually go and look for the properties for you it also does give you reports on here so it does have a lot of good um, information. I I can't really vouch how well 
their uh, information or their follow through is because I haven't used any of their services. Um, but I just thought that I would share this one bit. Let me see where this says sell calendar. Let's see if this lets me click on this. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't let me click on that. But anyway, this is another resource. Once again, taxcellresources.com. You could just click on it and then um, go right here to tax cell list and it will give you all, the whole um, United States of whether it's a tax deed or tax lien and it'll give you the month of the sale. And then I would suggest you actually going into uh, whatever state then look at the county and contact that county directly. But once again, I just wanted to kind of give you an overall of if you're deciding to invest in various states, this is a good um, way to start because at least you'll have a heads up when the auctions are actually happening. Um, for states that have the monthly, that's great, right? You just put it on your calendar, but there are other states kind of like, you know, look here in Idaho, which is only in May. Um, some of you guys know I did Oklahoma. I believe Oklahoma is only in June. Where is Oklahoma? Oh, there it is. Oklahoma is only in June. Oregon is yearly October through November. And the reason why they have this October through November, because, you know, there's several different counties. So, but they're saying that they start in October. So anyway, enough about me talking. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at info at